Hello guys and girls and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be fitting another little goodie bag from Travelling Live. Let's go. In the mystery box video they sent me the footwell lights. So we're going to get them fitted to the van. Ooh, sunny. Let's get cracking. Oh new t-shirt by the way. Low enough? I'm low enough. Are you low enough? Like with every modification on your van, you've got to do a little bit of prep work first. First thing you've got to do is remove this side panel. The panel under here, you're going to need a Torx 20 piece. There is three or four Torx screws in there. And the same likewise on the driver's side. This panel under here. All right, let's remove this. So, trim tool in the top, pop it open. If you've got the same setup as me, which you probably have, or potentially have, uh, you're gonna have your airbag on or off switch. So, little blue tab, push up. <laughs> push up, pull out. Right, once you've got your two panels out, you might be lucky if on the inside you have almost like the markings of where they should be because some of the t5s etc already have these footwell lights but unfortunately for me <laughs> i haven't so in your kit in your little bag you will have a template um i don't um, so if you don't, a bit like me, you're going to work out roughly where you're going to want these guys. I'm going to go for roughly in the centre of both of them. And then you're going to have to try and mark it out and cut it out. To do that, I'm going to do this. Alright, so firstly, because I don't have a template, you guys may well have a template in yours. So you can literally lay the template where you want it. little light scribe around it. Using a decent Stanley blade, cut it out. Presto, but I don't have the luxury of that. So what I'm doing, I'm going to break these down. So removing the glass housing part for the light and the plastic back. I'm going to use the plastic back to draw around. So I'm going to show you that now using uh, an old picking tool actually um, for my stickers. An old picking tool. I found this to be quite useful. So this is how I'm going to do it. Place it where I want it. Going to mark this corner. Going to mark this corner. You can see those nicely. Shall join them up in a second. Spin it around. Mark in this corner. And this corner, make them nice and deep. If you've got a ruler, sorry, I just disappeared for a minute then. If you've got a ruler, use a ruler, mark those lines up, and then cut it out with your standing knife. And now what you're going to do is cut that out. So I'm not going to show you the whole process of this because it can be quite boring. I'm literally pushing the Stanley blade in, bit of elbow grease, bit of letting it cut. And I want it. Obviously, please be careful when working with a Stanley blade. Those of you that are regular uh, viewers, you would have noticed that I often cut myself, which is a pain in the arse, and it's usually down to these blades. And the majority of the time, it's not the carpet lining, because that can be a big of a job. So, that's popped out. 
Um, just check with the glass bit that it does this fit. Um, you may need to do a small bit of trimming, which I, I'm going to have to do here, which is perfectly okay. Never going to get it perfect first time around. So I'm just going to take a small fraction off this side to allow the little clip to fall into place. Let's try that again. So I'm going to go in this way. Lovely. Okay, so I'm going to remove this. I'm going to put this section back together. I'm going to check once again that they fit. Lovely. So there's that one. And there's that one. For the wiring, we're going to be using this here to piggyback off. So I'm just going to release it and pop it out. So we've got a bit better access for it. So we've got the red and black and we've got the brown and red. So we're going to be using the little piggyback system that Traveling Light provide with most of their kit for their electrical stuff. So I'm just going to attach into this brown and red cable and then I'm going to attach into the red and black cable. If you haven't seen how these things work, uh, I think I've done a little demo in another video. If I haven't, then oops. Sorry about that. I'll show you now. You basically put that around the cable you're using. This one's got a pin in it. Screw that in nice and tight. Pierces into the cable line. Pop your feed, the line you want to try and use into the top. Do that up. And it sort of like squashes it all together. Pretty clever, eh? So we are going to be putting the black onto the brown. So I'm going to thread that onto there. I'm going to poke that in quite deep. And then I'm going to do this up nice and tight to allow a decent contact. And then I normally I do a little light pull test just to check it's not going to come out. Same again with the red. Thread that in, push that down inside, and then screw up the top. And then again, a light little pull test. I'm just going to pop that back together so that I know I've done that bit. Tidy. Okay, wiring wise, I, hopefully you guys can see a bit of this. So I've literally gone up and round, straight across, and can I see it? I think it's hanging, there it is, hanging there. <laughs> come out the other side so once we've done that we'll put it all back together in it so let's get started so on this side what we're going to do is drop that into place leaving the cable hanging free and we're going to knock these screws in I shall speed this part of the video up for you as it will be incredibly boring. No, actually, no, it won't. Because I think that I'm really, really funny. Anyway, um, once you've got. Oh, oh well, I'm going to leave that one. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to attach the light on the passenger side put it into the box clip it into place I'm going to do the same on the driver's side and you can see we have power so same again on this side really uh, get all your Torx bits back in this is the last one I've got to do actually <laughs> I didn't want to film the whole thing some of these for some reason are so fiddly 
anyway uh ah cable cable come back okay so get this one plugged in and then pop her up into place she's in job done so theoretically when i shut the door and lock the van the light should go off with the rest of the courtesy lights let's have a look And then obviously when I unlock it and open the doors, they come on. Oh, night time's gonna be so fun. And that's it guys, all done for another video. Uh, got lots of bits and pieces to film on the van still. I've still got to show you inside. Ooh. So hopefully I'll get around to that at some stage and you guys can see what she looks like. Um, just a quick shout out, we're going to be, um, we, i.e. Bespoke Pluses, uh, are going to be at V-Dub at, v at the pub, excuse me, V-Dub at the pub, um, I think it's 18th, 19th, 20th of August, so in a week or so's time, two weeks time, something like that. Um, so if you guys are going, come and check us out, come and say hi, uh, it'd be cool to meet some of you guys. That is the first show of the year for us. Um, I know there's some shows on at the moment, um, but due to bits and pieces and work and family stuff, we aren't able to attend some of the shows so far, but we're gonna be at V-Dub at the pub. So come and see us. Uh, if you're interested in one of my t-shirts, um, I will be starting to produce some of these. Uh, so get in contact over Instagram. Uh, I'll put a little thingy here, at Tom underscore T Dubs, uh, that's my Instagram name. So give me a shout on there, and if you're after one, I'll let you know when they're ready, uh, and you can order some on there. Uh, but yeah, big shout out to you guys. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers for subscribing. Thanks for watching the video, and I will see you guys in the next video at some stage. <laughs>